All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is part two of our nervous system unit, which is our last one of the year. Uh, this is just going to be looking at all the different parts of our nervous system. So let's get right into it here. Uh, here's just an overview of our nervous system. We're going to be going into all of these in, um, in detail, so you don't actually have to write these down now. It's just a little bit of an overview for you to see. So as you can see, it breaks down into two parts, central nervous system and our peripheral nervous system. So we abbreviate this the CNS and this the PNS. And the central nervous system doesn't get broken down anymore. It's just got the brain and the spinal cord. And then the peripheral nervous system gets broken down into, we'll get to the neurons in a bit, but it pretty much breaks down into things that we can control and things that we can't. So this is our, our muscle. It's called the somatic nervous system. And then this is basically our smooth muscle, uh, cardiac muscle, glands, things that we don't have to think about, luckily, uh, in order to carry out functions. Part of the not autonomic nervous system is the sympathetic and then the parasympathetic. You've probably heard about this response before, the fight or flight. Um, that's controlled by the sympathetic. And then the parasympathetic is pretty much all the other stuff that we don't have to think about, um, pretty much like sleeping and digesting. Okay, so you're going to want to write this down. It's not a whole lot of detail. Um, it's just a broad overview. Central nervous system, or CNS, is our brain and our spinal cord. And then the peripheral nervous system is the somatic and autonomic. So we'll look at the central nervous system coming up now. So you can just write down that broad overview of what we're looking at. Pause it now. And here is the central nervous system. We're looking at the brain. We've already done quite a bit on it. We've already done some previously. And the spinal cord. So this is just a collection of neurons, specific types of neurons, which we'll talk about uh, in a couple more videos from now. And then also some supportive tissue. And then we have our spinal column, which is made up of our spinal cord. And then also our spinal column, which is pretty much just our the vertebrae that support that cord to keep it protected. Okay, so you can write that down. And now the peripheral nervous system, the PNS, has two main nerves. And the two nerves that we have are called sensory nerves and motor nerves. We're going to get into a lot of this in the next couple of videos. Uh, but for now, all you need to know is sensory nerves. Is, are, these are the things that are receptors. These get the input from our hands or our feet or wherever that stimulus is coming. And it sends it back uh, to our central nervous system. And then we have motor nerves, which are going to be carrying uh, the order. So whatever it receives, like if you step on a tack, uh, this motor nerve will be sending the impulse to your foot to get it off that tack. Okay, so you can pause that. So another little overview here of what our autonomic and our somatic are doing. So these are the nerves that are connected to our muscles uh, that move our bones. So these are the ones that we can control. And then things that we can't control like our involuntary muscles like cardiac muscle. Uh, and intestinal muscle, and then also our glands. And then it's going to break down into sympathetic and parasympathetic, which we're going to see right now. So looking at our somatic, we talked about this. So this is all the muscles that we can control. So we can actively think about moving a muscle, and it's their somatic nervous system that's going to carry that out. Compare that to our autonomic. So this is things like uh, regulating our internal or organs, like what's happening in our hearts and our lungs. When our blood vessels are constricting, when they're getting bigger or dilating. Uh, and then also our bladder, stomach, heart, things that we don't have to think about, luckily, will be carried out automatically. So you can pause that. So when we look at the sympathetic, the sympathetic is which is re resulting in the fight or flight. So when we come up along a big bear, which is going to look like this guy, whoa, he's scary. And we are going to be looking, and you're either going to make the decision to run away, or you're going to make the decision to fight it. I would fight it because I'm pretty tough. Okay. Also other things that are resulting, this is when you get sweaty, heart racing, uh, and it's all due to certain hormones, which we'll see in a little bit. And then the parasympathetic, this is relaxation. So this is when we're sleeping, when we're digesting. These are things to conserve our energy. So this is going to be making us uh, speed up our heart rate, and these ones are making it speed down, <laughs> slow down. Uh, these are antagonistic, which means they work in opposites to each other. If we want to slow down our sympathetic, 
uh, we're going to be using our parasympathetic if we want to speed it up we're going to use our sympathetic okay so you can pause that and what we're going to be talking about now are the neurotransmitters that control these okay so let's look at it first sympathetic nervous system has a neurotransmitter which is called noradrenaline neurotransmitters are chemicals that signal certain things to happen Yeah, that's tough to read, but you'll make do. So it's chemicals that signal certain things to happen in the body. So for exa example, noradrenaline, or another uh, word for it is called norepinephrine. Uh, these are released by the sympathetic neurons to increase the heart rate. So this is that fight or flight response. Uh, it's something that breaks it because noradrenaline, we don't want it in our uh, bodies if we are done with that whole fight or flight response once we need to start calming down. There's an enzyme called uh, monoamine oxidase, and it's an enzyme that breaks down that chemical. So if that chemical is no longer there, it's not going to be causing us to get uh, all fired up. Compare that to parasympathetic. It's called acetylcholine. We abbreviate it ACH. This is released by the parasympathetic uh, neurons when we want to decrease our heart rate. Okay? And then we have an enzyme called acetylcholine esterase, which destroys the acetylcholine. So these work in uh, antagonistic fashion, which means that if we want to uh, slow down this, it releases an enzyme, or we can also release more of this. And if we want to speed it back up, these things are broken down, and we release uh, the noradrenaline or the norepinephrine. Okay, so you're going to want to pause that. And here's just a general overview again of the different divisions. So we have our central nervous system and our peripheral. The only thing you need to know about the central nervous system is that it's made up of the brain and the spinal cord. Uh, and then the autonomic and the somatic. So all you need to know about that is that these are the voluntary. And then these ones are automatic. And then they break down into sympathetic and parasympathetic. So this is going to be increasing heart rate. And this is going to be the decreasing heart rate. Okay, so I hope that helps. We're going to go into a little bit more detail uh, in class, but essentially that's pretty much all you need to know on the divisions of the nervous system. So hopefully that helps, and write down any questions that you might have, and we'll go over this in class.